Hello again and welcome to the tutorial series by QuickSight.com. In this tutorial we're going to, going to go over how to add a banner or banner rotator like the one that you see here. So as always go ahead and log in and when you do you'll want to go over to your components and go under banner and let's first uh, take note of the three subsections we have. We have categories, clients, and banners and here's kinda how you want to approach this. For your categories, it's going to be best to name your categories um, corresponding to the size of the banner. Um, that is going to help prevent you placing a vertical banner, for example, in this horizontal spot, which would then distort your template. And in your category manager, like with other categories and other sections, it's very easy. You just click New, and it's just a couple fields. The title. Well, let's not call it new category, let's call it uh, 60 by 60, assuming that that is going to be the banner size that we're going to place in here. And you may want to describe or give a description. Again, these descriptions are um, for your purposes. And there's the new category, simple enough. Um, for creating banners, you're also going to have the option to section off those banners and categories and clients and uh, obviously you can see here you have a default name of your client um, let's create a new client let's just call it self okay let's say it's a banner that I want to place up there it's not really for any uh, ad space I'm selling it's just uh, personal banners that I have affiliate relations with let's say um, contact name it's going to ask for an email address and you can give uh, any extra information here in this extra information box and hit save and now we have a new client called self and then finally after you've created categories and the clients then you're ready to actually add banners and you'll notice that on the front here I have a HostGator affiliate banner showing to which I've named HostGator affiliate banner let's go ahead and open that up to see how it looks it allows you to name the banner, which I've done here. It asks if you want it to show. It gives you the option whether you want it to be sticky or not. The category it's going to go into, well obviously that is a horizontal banner and so that's why I have placed it in the 468 by 60 category because that is actually the dimensions of that banner. So it helps me make sure that all the subsequent banners I place of that size should go into this category. And then you get to choose client name. Is it uh, you know the one that comes by default well no let's say it's me now this is where it can come into play if you have uh, selling ad space or you know someone is paying you to place the, their banner on your site you can actually uh, limit the number of impressions that the banner will have because this is a uh, banner for us we're going to check the unlimited box because we don't want to limit it in any way and if you get banner code from an affiliate I'm sorry from a merchant for like an affiliate program, um, it's very easy. All you got to do is copy the code and paste it into the box that says custom banner code and you're done. And you notice that the width is 468 and the height is 60 and that makes uh, me happy because that means it's in the right category. Um, if you don't have this code, you can do it in a more manual way and actually type into the click URL the URL you want the user to go to once the banner is clicked. These description and notes here are for your internal purposes and you actually have a banner image selector which um, is another process it's, it sits in a specific folder within your platform and you'd simply need to upload the image of the banner there and then you would select the image you want to correspond and then this click URL will be tied to that image and you specify the width and the height of that image but again if you just have uh, the code that these merchants give you to copy and paste it's very easy and you simply uh, copy and paste it so let's say I've gone out and got a different banner and I want to create a new banner and the category I'm going to select 60 by 60 self and I'm actually just going to kind of cheat here and paste what I had but I'm going to make the picture 60 by 60 I'm going to force it and then I'm going to hit save. 
and there's the new banner. It's in the belongs to the client me. And it's in the category of 60 by 60, and it has unlimited impressions. And now that I've populated my banner manager, now it's time to bring it to where we can see it on the front end. So to do that, you're going to go into your module manager. If you notice, the module that is responsible for showing this banner here is this banner module. It says type, module, banners, and its position is top position. So when I open that up, this is what it looks like. In this text here, this is to demonstrate your banner module. Of course, this text can be easily removed. That corresponds to this text here. Menu assignment, I basically want it to show on every page. However, I can select select menu items and pick and choose the pages I want it to show on. If I want it to show on more than one, I would hit control, hold down control while I select the other pages that I want this banner to show on. But I want it to show on all. And for this example, I'm going to place, well actually I'm going to leave it alone. This is not the one we're wanting to deal with. I was just showing you. But uh, we have a new banner. Let's say we want to create a new banner module. So you'd go to new and you would find your banner module. This banner module allows to show the active banners out of the component within your site. And title, let's call it uh, 60 by 60 example. And I don't want that title to show, so I'm going to select no. And for position, again, I uh, in the first tutorial let you know that all these positions here correspond to a layout of the particular template that you're dealing with. And so I happen to know that banner 4 is kind of in the middle. And then over here it's going to ask for the banner client. Well, I want it to show the banner um, for the client self, which is me. And the category is the 60 by 60. And I'm going to hit apply. Once I hit apply, it is now time to go and check to see if it took effect on the front end. I'm going to refresh my page. And sure enough, there it is. And it is 60 by 60. Now, of course, it doesn't look good because I just took this picture and crammed it into a 60 by 60 box. Um, but basically, it kind of shows you how this works. Um, this area here is kind of like an area here it's sectioned off. And this area is called Banner 4. and allows you to stick banners there. Obviously, a banner like this, you might want to go, um, for example, on the right-hand side or up in a corner. So let's go ahead and do that just to show you. So let's say uh, you want it to go on the right side. Hit apply. Then when you refresh the page, you'll notice there it is. Okay? And that is how you create banners and banner modules. And if you want the banners to rotate, then you just simply add more banners into the category that you want it to go in. So if I want more banners of size 60 by 60 to rotate in this area here, sorry, right here, then I'm basically going to go in my back end and when I make new banners, continue to put them into the category 60 by 60. The client name um, can change, but the category is important for multiple banners to rotate in that position. And then, of course, through your module manager, your 60 by 60 example shows you that it's a banner module, and it's sitting in the right-hand side. And that is how you add banners and the banner module, and that concludes this tutorial.